To see is to believe, or to believe is to see. In the Bible, whenever we hear the name Thomas, the word doubt suddenly pops up into our mind. In John chapter 20, verses 24 up to 29, Thomas doubted Jesus' resurrection because Thomas was not with the other disciples when Jesus first appeared to them after his resurrection. He found it hard to believe that Jesus was alive. When Jesus appeared to them, he addressed Thomas directly in John chapter 20, verse 27. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands, reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. As a believer of the Lord Jesus, it is undeniable that we really struggle without. When Jesus said, Stop doubting and believe, what does it imply to us? First, we must not doubt God's word. Believe what Jesus said. Don't doubt the word of God. Whatever the Lord has spoken to you will certainly come to pass. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 35, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Second, we must not doubt His plans. God knows the end from the beginning. We struggle with doubt if we don't trust Jesus enough to carry out all His glorious plans for our lives. When Jesus said He will rise from the dead in heaven, the plan of redemption was fulfilled by Jesus through His death and His resurrection. Therefore, all that He planned for your life will certainly come to pass or He will carry out. Third, we must, doubt, we must not doubt His power. The Lord's power to defeat and conquer death through His resurrection is more than enough proof that He is powerful and sovereign over all things. If Jesus rose from the dead, what made us think that He is not capable of delivering us from all troubles? The same Jesus who rose from the dead will certainly make us alive in Him to empower us to become conqueror by faith in His name. But how did Thomas overcome his doubt? He never left and returned home. He placed himself in a place of readiness to experience Jesus. Don't leave God's presence until He reveals Himself to you and allow you to experience Him personally. He stayed with His fellow disciples. He became more immersed with stories and testimonies about encountering the risen Jesus. We need to go to, to listen and stay with those people who have personally encountered and experienced Jesus in their lives and that we will become more and more intense in our passion for Him. Thomas got the best in the right moment when Jesus again showed Himself to the disciples. And because He was there, He has seen, or Thomas seen, the risen Lord. He waited for it and He got it. Now, how do we respond to doubt? First, you must bring your doubts to God like Thomas to seek the answer. Invest time and effort in studying the Word of God to enlighten and illuminate areas in our lives. Let doubt drive you to growth as a disciple of the Lord Jesus. Be on your knees before the Lord, the risen Lord, as you seek Him in your prayer, spending your life time listening to Him. And don't let doubt confuse you. This Holy Week, reflect on the experience of Thomas and let the Lord bring you closer to Him as you respond to Him by faith, overcoming your doubt. In Jesus' name.